First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Paleo Hebrew, it's called Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude, because that's why we do these videos. And um, it happened again, man. Another one bites the dust. Their largest U.S. egg farm burns down. Thousands of chickens dead, okay? A um, hundred thousand chickens die in fire at Connecticut egg farm. You know, when this uh, article came out uh, yesterday. So, uh, orchestrated famine is happening right now. But Yahweh Shemeshah told us this would happen in the last days, okay? World War Three is going to happen. Pestilences are going to happen. Famines are going to happen. These are going to be on a large scale all over the world, man. Because, you know, the uh, elites of this world, they want to repackage everything too you in this new system so they're going to take everything away from you and repackage it to you and then you're going to have to take the MOTB to get food water accessories and so forth and so on man it's a wicked game that's going on also this video right here this lady was talking about her uh, chickens haven't been laying eggs because of uh, the feed she's been feeding them and this has been happening to all the local farms no chickens have been laying eggs and then Bill Gates came out and he was talking about lots of reasons to rethink how eggs fit into the future of food HC foods have created a lower cholesterol alternative. Gates notes, I also tasted Beyond Eggs. So they got Beyond Meat and now they got Beyond Eggs. You know, y'all people don't see what's going on, man. Hampton Greek Foods Egg Substitute, which doesn't contain the high cholesterol of real eggs, man. It's a wicked game that's going on right now, man. So I'm going to get some scriptures real quick, okay? Because these people are evil, man. This is Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. These people have a short time, man, so they're going to come down with great wrath, and you're seeing it in every aspect of life. That's why they're orchestrating all this stuff, okay? They're not going to win in the end, but they're going to make sure, they're going to try to. It's going to get ugly out here. This is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. This is what this man is doing, okay? They practice it because it is in the power of their hand. When the morning is light, they practice it, so they go and accomplish their uh, goals, they go accomplish their goals and this is what they're doing this nwo man they are going full force okay with the with the poke everybody thought it was cool now look what's happening same thing that's going to be with this beyond meat and beyond food it's the same thing that's going to happen with this it's not going to be good for you man Sirach 14 and 7 and if he doeth good he doeth it unwillingly and at the last he will declare his wickedness this is what these people are doing they're declaring their wickedness okay this man is evil man this is psalms um 64 hear my voice O power in my prayer preserve my life from the fear of the enemy hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity that's all these people are doing man the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrow even with bitter words every time you hear these people talk man especially Clyde Schwab man he sound like a super villain that they may shoot at secret at the perfect suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not and they shooting at the people man working evil upon their beds just thinking up all type of schemes beyond eggs like what the fuck is that it says they encourage themselves in an evil manner these people are evil man they commune of laying snares privily beyond eggs is a, a snare man this is a snare burning down all the farms i got a list right here of all the farms they've been burning down since january 11th 2021 a fire that destroyed a 75 foot square foot processing plant in fayetteville uh standard missouri this happened in 3 4 22 um, 300,000 chickens, um, 700,000 chickens at, uh, Maryland, uh, Delaware, um, 200, 250,000, 700,000 in, uh, at Sissel, a million chickens at, uh, Tyler. So, and if you just keep going down the list, man, these people are really, uh, orchestrating this famine at the end of the day. Like I said, they want to repackage everything to the people, man. They're going to destroy everything and repackage it to you in this new technocracy system, this beast system, man, that it talks about in Revelation 13, but I'm not going to get that right now. We got to um, rely on your how about Shem and Shai, man, because just like in this, what David wrote right here, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Yahweh about to Zaya, or your how about Shem and Shai protects us from these people, man, because these people are the sword and they're going to come down with great wrath, as it says in Revelation 12. You can also get in, um, I think it's Ezekiel 21. Ezekiel 21 and 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus say you, how about and shot? Say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also refurbished. And I got to get out the way. Who is the sword? The sword is the wicked. And who are the wicked? The Edomites. Okay, the Edomites are the sword. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? No. 
we are not to be in a mirth like state, man. We at war right now. You don't see stuff like this. 100,000 chicken farm. You know, let me get the video. Multiple fire departments responded to a massive fire at Hendale Farms in Connecticut. Eggs where an estimated 100,000 hens have died. 100,000 hens have died, man. Okay, and they got this video right here that I said, but, you know, not, uh, not only are they destroying all the um, farms, they're giving local farmers this feed. So they even control the feed of these animals, which, which uh, makes the chicken not lay eggs. So it's a wicked game that's going on right now. They want to repackage everything to the people, man, in this new system. That's why they're doing all this. This NWO, man, it's going to be, it's a wicked game that's going on. But going back, so the sword is Esau, man. Who's ruling today? The Edomites. Who's doing all this? The Edomites. Who controls the Edomites? The Lord, okay? And all this was prophesied about, man. Famines was prophesied about in the last days. Uh, pestilences were prophesied in the last days, okay? Wars, World War Three was prophesied about in the last days. All this stuff is coming down the pipeline, man. It's about to get... You heard, even Gates said it was going to be some new pestilence and what if uh, somebody released them at the airport. He just said that like last week. It condemneth the rod of my son as every tree and he giveth it to, and he have given it to be refurbished that it may handle, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is refurbished to give into the hand of the slayer. Crying house son of man for it shall be upon my people. So the sword is coming down upon our people again, man. It's called Jacob's trouble, man. We need how about Shemel Shai to survive these days. It's gonna get so bad out here, we're gonna need angels to protect us, man. But you know, let me get some scriptures on um this famine, okay? Because famines are coming, man. Multiple everywhere. The plagues are gonna be upon all the world, man. Matthew twenty four and seven, it says, um, this is talking about the last days. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, okay? This stuff has to come. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And these are going to be what? Perilous times. We're coming into perilous times when the devil is coming down with great wrath upon the people, man. Okay, because we see what he's doing man here go a list right here i bring it up again this list right here okay many many they've been working hard man that's why we got to work hard in the faith man because we want you to help us a shot to protect us in these days because we know how bad it's going to get out here man it's going to be worse than people think okay and a lot of people not even paying attention all they care about is the chiefs care about the eagles they're going to get caught like a thief in the night man Ezekiel 5 and 16, when I shall send upon you the evil arrows of famine, so the Lord sends famines, man. The Lord controls Esau, man. Yeah, how about some controls Esau, man? Okay, it's been a lot of wickedness going on. That's why he's going to have the sword go bonkers out here, man. Which shall be for your destruction, which I shall send to destroy you. So yeah, how about some is doing this to destroy you people, man? And I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. Your staff of bread is a hen house, is a farm. That's your staff of bread, how food is made and didn't ship. That's the staff of bread. He's breaking it to bring in what? Famines. Y'all gonna put some respect on the Lord, man, because he, he created Esau, man. Um, Sirach 39 and 28, it says, uh, There are spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out the force and the peace of wrath of him that made them. <laughs> Esau, man, the sword, man. It says, Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So this is why these things are coming down the pipeline. This is why all this stuff is happening. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So yeah, how about Shemesha is going to destroy all people through famines and pestilences and wars? Okay, because America's got out of control. Okay, this is Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. Things have gotten out of hand, man. Second Ezra 15 and 19. Um, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You know, martial law is going to be implemented soon. For because of pride, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. It's going to be a, a evil time. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of their lack of bread and for great tribulation. This is that order out of chaos. You know, I keep talking about it over and over again, man, because it's real. You know, they're doing this, like I said, to repackage, you know, everything back to you. They're going to take it all away, take it all away and repackage it to you. Okay, you're going to need to take this to get these things. Okay, that it says in Revelations 13, the MOTB. But this is a second measure 16 and um, let's go to 18. The beginning of sorrows, we just read this. And great mourners, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? What should you do? You should repent, man. Turn back to the Lord and he'll protect you. Behold. Famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as gorgeous for a minute. We just read that in Syrac, Ecclesiasticus, 
But for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourges. So yeah, how about some is doing all these things and people still not going to repent, man? It's already written. These people are gone, man. These people are in gross darkness. This is why all this stuff is happening, man. Behold, visuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in a good case. Okay, everybody think they in a good case after the uh, pandemic, but we got pandemic two coming. They've been destroying every motherfucking chicken farm in, the, uh, in existence, man. Bill Gates over there making motherfucking uh, Beyond, or what's this shit? Beyond eggs and shit. This man is evil, man. He gonna, he gonna give you a Beyond egg and smell like this. <laughs> Yo, y'all people better wake the hell up. A vigil shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. So, just like it says, they said peace and safety. But even then... Great evils are still gonna grow. Okay, the pandemic happened. The evils are still growing, man. <laughs> like, man, it's 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 a wicked game that's going on. I gotta keep saying it, but you know, I want to get some scriptures now because the people who repented, they will be um, protected when all this stuff comes down the pipeline. This is a uh, Job fifth five and um, let's go to nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So this is what the people who repented are going to do. They're going to laugh at y'all, man, because they've been warning you forever. So when shit hit the fan... They're going to be laughing at you, man, because you should have uh, repented when um, um, when that uh, time for repentance was open unto you. As it says in uh, Second Ezra 9, I'll get that after this. Isaiah 65 and um, 13. Therefore, thus say, how about some shall Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Why are the people who repented going to be singing for joy of heart? Okay, because they're going to be good. But you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Okay, and let me get that scripture I was talking about in 2nd Ezra 9. You know, because you people should have repented when y'all had a chance. When uh, the time of um, uh, uh, grace is up, it's over, man. Then you hop up to Meshach going and let Esau go loose out here. Okay. Once the elect get sealed, all hell breaking loose. Okay, Second Ezra uh, nine and um, and they that have loathed my law, which they yet had liberty, and when as place of repentance was opened unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. That's what people got to look forward to if they didn't repent, man. Yeah, how about some Messiah ain't playing out here? He got the sword out here doing, making beyond eggs. Like, come on, man. He got the sword out here destroying uh, uh, the farms. Okay, let's go to Amos real quick. Cause your how about shot controls good and evil, man. Y'all better y'all better get with the program, man. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and your how about have not done it? Surely your how about will do nothing but revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, and your how about is doing all this, man. He controls the sword, like I said. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh Shemeshah, do all these things. And Yahweh Shemeshah wants you to repent. And if you don't, he going, the, he are, the sword is already going to go crazy. It's written in the scriptures. The sword is going to come down with great wrath. It's already written. You know, it's written in Revelation 12 and 12. It's written in um, Ezekiel 21. So what you going to do, man? You know that the so-called white man is about to get let loose out here. You know, he showed his horns in... Um, what he did to the Native Americans and the African Americans, but they're going to show their horns one last time before the world ends. <laughs> they're going to show you who they really are. Okay? They've been resting for now. They've been deceiving in the background. Okay? But soon, like it says right here, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. They, It's being declared right now. They're going to war with you people, and y'all people just watching football and not even worrying about it. But they destroying all your farms in America and all that. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. And call her Lord Yahweh Shemeshah Shemakakadash.